Hey everyone, Daryl here. So last year I was in the market for a new DJ controller and I made a series of videos detailing why I ended up with the Prime 4 Plus. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but my laptop was also dying. And so while the Prime 4 Plus was like the most expensive option on the list, but the Prime 4 Plus kind of replaces the need for having a controller and a laptop. It kind of, it's an all in one. It kind of does the job of both. And it's honestly kind of cheaper to do it that way than to get any other controller on the list and a new laptop. And let me just say that I loved the thing. I loved the streamlined workflow. I mean, it was a dream. Just one device to control my lighting, to control my music. It was standalone and it was awesome. I really did enjoy that part of it. Using Engine DJ to DJ was really nice. And the controller had a lot of functionality. And it was a dream workflow for a mobile DJ. And I'll get into engine lighting in a moment. But that said, I did miss Virtual DJ with every gig I used that thing. Virtual DJ just seemed to work better or I was just more used to it. And I was really missing stems. I feel like it was kind of a bait and switch between saying that it had stems, the first standalone controller to offer stems. And then it's like, oh, well, actually, it's part of the beta program. You know, it's not production ready, but... And I was just not super pleased with that. And taking a look at the hardware, I just don't think that the stems quality is going to be able to compete with Virtual DJ running like on a really fast laptop. So any sort of like these machine learning AI type things need intense hardware. And the Prime 4 Plus didn't seem like it had the most hardware. I, you know, I didn't look into it that much. So maybe it does. Maybe I'm wrong. But whatever the case... That's why I decided to get another controller. And don't get me wrong, like the Prime 4 Plus works with Virtual DJ. You can use it with Virtual DJ and it's actually really cool. The screen integrates nicely and I liked it. But I felt like the screen was redundant and I didn't really need a second screen. And I really wanted rotating platters and I feel like I was willing to make the compromise to try Engine DJ and kind of sacrifice having the rotating platters. And so when I decided that I'm no longer going to use the Prime 4 Plus, I wanted to get something with rotating platters. I was browsing Reverb and I saw a killer deal for a Rain 72 12 combo and just kind of as an impulse purchase and I got it. It came with a case, it came with white skins and it was one heck of a deal. I almost paid the same price for that as I did my Prime 4 Plus. Yeah, I also ended up getting a Rain 1, also a local deal and I got an insane deal on it. Like one third of the cost of how much it costs new. So. Yeah, this thing is great, and I just figured it'd be good to have. If I have two systems, even if one just sits at home to practice with, that they're very similar, they kind of have the same layout. So, yeah, I, I'm excited about this new year. I'll miss the Prime 4 Plus, but I'm excited to try out the Rain 1 and the Rain 72 12 this year. I mentioned I'd talk about engine lighting. It was awesome. Like, the lighting never had any glitches. It just worked. It was very seamless. I didn't have to go into Virtual DJ and verify and then boot up SoundSwitch and verify that it was working. So I loved that. Being able to use SoundSwitch on a touch screen like that and be able to position your movers was probably like a dream workflow. I feel like that is what the Control 1 plus plus or the Control 2 needs to have. Some of that functionality that's incorporated in engine lighting. I basically just used it to load SoundSwitch and then I used my Control 1. I never really went back to that screen. I'd maybe do it to yeah, set up my positions for a particular venue. But something I really missed is I could not make changes on the fly. Basically what you have deployed is there. And I feel like part of like the SoundSwitch workflow is that you need to be able to make edits on the fly. And yeah, in SoundSwitch I'm always editing those static scenes when I get to the venue. I could not do that. And it's a pain in the butt to pull out my laptop edit the scenes and then plug it into my controller, download it, and yeah, it just wasn't great. Another one of the big reasons I got the Prime 4 Plus, because as a content creator that creates a ton of sound switch content, it just made sense to buy more into the ecosystem. But you know, I've been swamped with so many different video ideas. I'm trying to run my DJ business too, so I didn't get to it. If you guys think it would be helpful, I can make more content. I can borrow something. I have a contact in music. They can lend me something. I can make more content. Uh, engine lighting content even. But you know, Rain is part of in music brands. So I don't know. It's the same team, right? It's, it, it'd be really cool if we saw some engine lighting in Rain products in the future. And, and last thing I wanted to address is that, yeah, the Rain 1 is not the newest controller. They have like the Rain 4. And the Rain 4 Performer is supposedly coming out. 
I like the classic look of no screen in the middle. I think the charm of rotating platters is the nostalgia. Having a screen in the middle kind of makes it feel very futuristic, and I don't like the aesthetic as much. As an example, I'll show one of my guitars. This is the Ernie Ball Music Man John Petrucci Majesty, and this guitar is very modern, and it has a lot of interesting features that make this thing a really cool guitar. That said, when I played in a classic rock band, I always brought a Gibson Les Paul or a Fender Strat for like the nostalgia reasons. I mean, a big part is we were playing like classic rock. I always did that because people would always know and be like, oh, that's a Gibson Les Paul. I remember Jimmy Page and Slash having one. Rotating platters and I don't want a screen in the middle. I know having them in all white isn't like the most retro. <laughs> and I guess that's the fun with the skins. Maybe I'll do something more retro next time. So what do you think about the Denim Prime 4 Plus, the Rain 1, 72 slash 12 combo? Let me know down in the comments below. And please smash like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.